Okay guys, we're back. And I'm going to do my best not to be super wobbly today. <laughs> it's harder than it seems. Um, first of all, I didn't go up the mountain today, I'm really sorry, I really wanted to. Um, but there's a bit more damage to my pedal than I'd realised, and I need a new pedal. So, I didn't want to waste the day, it's a really nice day again, and I fancied going out. And I know some of you guys probably would rather see like Minecraft videos and stuff, uh, you know, and I realise that. Um, but, you know, I, I can't spend days like this inside. I think I'd feel pretty crappy with myself if I did that. So, today, we're at a place called Abalash. Um, it's, a, it's a couple of miles from my house. I've gone for a um, walking today, obviously, because my bike's broken. Um, and I used to spend a lot of time here. There's a little river there that you can probably see. I used to spend a lot of time here when I was a kid. Uh, there should be a bridge. Yeah, there is a bridge just up ahead here. A little bridge. And um, this is Abalash Mill ahead. I'm not really sure if it's a working mill anymore, but it's still called Abalash Mill. But yeah, I don't really know what I'm going to do today. I'm just going to go for a little walk. Um, I did used to spend quite a bit of time down here when I was a kid. Here's this little little bridge that we're going to walk on. It's not a very big river. It's more like a little brook, really. It does get a little bit more... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. A little bit more active further down, I guess. But yeah, I don't know if any of you guys actually like these vlogs. I just I enjoy doing them. I really do. Looks like there's some people down there swimming. I can see a topless guy. <laughs> oh, there's some people walking their dog all the way over there too. Uh, I really like this field though for some reason. It's just it's always like well. Uh, it's always been like had the lawn mown, so it's always nice and flat. And it's got this one epic tree right in the middle, and I just really like it. The only thing that ruins it for me is these honking great big power lines going through it. But you know, what can you do? <laughs> I can see just ahead on the path as well is a, is a guy in a blue shirt. Um, I actually um, spoke to him about 20 minutes ago. Um, I have no idea what he was doing. Um, he was looking at the coal mines for some reason, because we have a lot of coal mines in Wales. It was, a, uh, you know, originally, uh, this town was originally um, a coal mining town. But this guy's a pretty elderly gent, so I might stop this video in a second for risk of, you know, really confusing him and such. <laughs> but yeah, I, I might go and sit by that tree, actually. I think we'll do that. I'll see you in a sec, guys. So here we are. I'm sitting on this uh, rather uncomfortable tree trunk right now. But it's okay. It's fine. Ah, I'm actually really disappointed about not being able to go to the mountain because um, I had some stuff I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, about the area, not, not anything important or anything. Um, like, I quite like, you know, I really like history and myths and that kind of thing. Um, and that area in particular, um, Bettis Mountain, which leads onto the Black Mountain, um, for those of you wondering, it didn't look very big in the video, but that mountain is 800 meters high, so it is a mountain, it's not a hill. But uh, yeah, that mountain and the lake surrounding there um, are the supposed origin of the Lady of the Lake myths. Now, a lot of people, especially people outside the UK, assume that the um, legend of Arthur and his knights and the round table is an English myth. However, you, it's probably Welsh. Um, in fact, um, if you look at some of the details in it, for example, um, you know, I'm no, you know, I, I can't claim this 100%, but if you look at, like, you know, the pen dragons, um, which, you know, were the, the ruling kings and such in the myth, um, pen is a Welsh word for head. So the literal translation of the name Pendragon would be Head of the Dragons, or Boss of the Dragons, or King of the Dragons, you know, whichever way you want to look at it. Um, you've also got things like Guinevere. It's a pretty Welsh name. Um, Merlin, which is an anglicised name. Um, the original name is Murthen, which is Welsh. 
um, and you know you can look up that. And and then if you look at places like um, Avalon, which is a big part in the the Legend of Arthur, got some people walking their dog down there too. Um, Avalon, again Welsh word coming from the word apple. Um, and I suppose that has some religious roots, such as, you know, the apple in the Garden of Eden and that kind of thing as well. Uh, and then there's a, I mean, there's loads more. And, you know, I won't go into too much detail of it now. I'll save it for when I do go up the mountain. But, um, uh, for example, the motto, oh, sorry, motto, the mascot for my town, this town, is the wild boar, which features prominently in Arthurian legend as well. Um, maybe I'll slip a picture of the, uh, as you drive into my town, we've got some statues. Um, I'll slip a picture of those in here so you can see our wild boar statues. <laughs> That's quite funny. They've got, um, you probably can't make it out here with these people walking a dog. They've got a miniature dash hound, which is cute. It's tiny. Or a sausage dog, as most people tend to call them over here. But uh, let's keep walking. Um, we'll probably going to find a few people here there was a part specifically that I wanted to take you to <sighs> unfortunately when I walked past it earlier there were some people um, which wasn't a problem but they were there with a scary looking dog and they were drinking and yeah I don't get that it, maybe it's just because I don't drink um, but yeah there you go but hopefully they are gone it's only been about half an hour but we'll see um, this river uh, this place I'm, called, uh, I'm in, by the way, it's, well, we call it Shans Road. Um, but uh, this river I spent a lot of time in as a kid, swimming. We had tree swings, used to go fishing here. Although, the only thing I ever caught was, um, was eels, really. <laughs> but I used to love fishing when I was a kid. I don't think there's that many actual fish in here. Just lots of slippery eels. And freshwater shrimp and stuff. But yeah, I really do love this field for some reason. Especially on a day like this. It's just awesome. Yeah. And I feel kind of ashamed to say this, but I haven't I haven't walked, been for walks that much recently. And having done that now the last week and been on my bike and stuff. I feel a little bit ashamed because although there are things that have changed around where I live and in my opinion not for the better, you know, such as modern development, like I can hear a big truck going up there now, there's still a lot of really beautiful parts here. Yeah, it's a beautiful country. Look at all these yellow things, I don't know what they are, I know nothing about plants, but they look pretty. <laughs> I think there's some people here in the river. I can hear some, somebody splashing stones. Yeah, there's some kids. Oh, look, yeah, messing right in the river. I'm not going to film the kids. Um, we're going to head down this way, which means that I'm going to have to climb a little bit. <laughs> that should be fun. Hopefully, um... Oops. Oh, do I have a zoom on this? Oh my god, I do have a zoom. I did not know that. Damn it. Um, hopefully those people have gone. I'm guessing they haven't. They looked like they had, like, a little picnic of beer and food there. <laughs> so, <laughs> we'll see. If they haven't... Um, it's okay, we'll go somewhere else. These fields, by the way, they are still used for animals, occasionally, obviously not today. Um, which is why they're separated by, you know, the public are allowed in here, you're allowed to come in here. But they are separated by these little fence things you have to climb over, just to stop the animals, you know, getting out and such.
Uh, ooh. Okay, I, I just noticed, and I'll show you now. There's people still down there, which doesn't surprise me. Um, but they're standing up, so I'm wondering if they're going to go. It looks... Maybe I can zoom in for you guys. Uh, am I even looking at the right place? I have no idea. Uh, it looks like they might be getting ready to go, so maybe we'll hang around here for a few minutes. And yeah. Oh, these are the things, the fences I was talking about that I have to climb over. So yeah, that should be fun. Let's do that now. Hooray! I didn't fall and make a fool of myself. We'll go for a little walk over here, through this tall grass, which might have snakes in it. Um, <laughs> only little grass snakes. Um, go into the tree line, maybe. Looks like there's a bit... Oh, God, there's thistles in here. That's not good. Whose idea was this? Uh, yeah. I'll be going home with my legs ripped to shreds, probably. I think we will sit in the tree line for a couple of minutes. Waiting for those people to go. It really does look like they're packing up to go, so that's awesome. <laughs> the amount of time I spent as a kid down here, with my friends, uh, in that river, um, building dams to try and get the water deeper because it's not very deep. And there are some bigger rivers around here. There's um, the, well, the River Ammon, which is what the town's named after. Um, but that's pretty violent. So yeah, we didn't go swimming in that one very often. I wonder though, if the weather holds, maybe I'll go for a walk up to that river too. All right, see these, I don't know if you have these in your country, these things. Ow. Yeah, ow. They hurt. They hurt. <laughs> and they they like they leave something in your skin. You've probably got them in your country. Oh look, there's some big ones here. Those damn things. They leave something in your skin that itches and my poor ankle is itching right now. Look at all those dead trees. Okay, yes they're going. So I just walked through snake, thistle, and stingy nettle infested uh, fill for nothing by the looks of it. Well, not for nothing. For you guys. <laughs> <laughs>